Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, May 30th, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney, I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service. And this is a spring snowmelt briefing for the very end of May, and we'll look at all the different parts of this. So let's start with temperature. And what we'll do is we'll look at temperature for Salt Lake City Airport from the beginning of May to today, and then the forecasted temperature, which is the red dots. The green line is climatology, what you'd expect. The blue line is the observed, and this is high temperature y-axis is temperature, time is on the x-axis, and you see right around the first two weeks of May we were quite warm, and for the next week it got cooler, then we had kind of some in between, but really about May 28th, 27th, that's when things started to warm up, and that's going to go all the way through June 6th if the forecast is accurate, and pretty significant warming uh, for the next couple of days, it's going to get a little cooler, then drop, bring back up, but needless to say, we're above until June 6th. When you look at the snowpack that we have right now, we'll start in the Cache Valley because this has the highest potential to reach flood stage at this time. We're going to look at Bug Lake, which is a snow tail station, an automated station at 7,950 feet. And what this graph is indicating, uh, snow water equivalent on the y-axis, time is on the x. The red line is average. The green line is where we were in 2011 when we had a pretty significant year, and the blue line is where we are right now for snow water equivalent. It shows we've got it roughly about 10 inches at this elevation. We're starting to run through the mid elevation snow at a pretty good clip. This is roughly at about an inch per day. Uh, that's going to ramp up a little more, and pretty soon, probably about five days, we're going to be out of mid elevation snow, which brings us to the first week of June. When you look at Tony Grove, this is an area that's uh, at 8,300 feet. This is considered at the very bottom of the high elevation snow, kind of the lowest level when we look above there. And this point has about, oh, roughly about 30 inches of snow water equivalent. Melting at roughly an inch to two inches per day brings this area in about two weeks out of snow, roughly, uh, until it can fuel some big flows. So we have that window, depending on what's going to happen, that can fuel these really high flows that we have snow for, man, we'll say about two weeks until we start running out of snow. And realistically, it's going to be more of a week to maybe eight days before we start running out of snow that can fuel flood flows. So when you look at Trial Lake, this is an area on the Mirror Lake Highway up in the Uinas, and it's at about 10,000 feet. And if you, it's the kind of the top drainage for the Bear River drainage, the Weber, the Provo, and the Duchesne. We've got about 26 inches there. So you figure maybe a week to two weeks, and then we're going to start running out of snow at the highest elevation. So now you've got a feel for our window, what's fueling the runoff. When you see how it's modeled by the Colorado Basin and River Forecast Center, which is in the same room that I'm talking to you right now, when we look at the Logan River, we're anticipated reaching flood in roughly about Wednesday night late. And going above for about six days. And this is minor flooding. This is something that the Logan City officials in Cache County have been waiting for. They've sandbagged a great deal, so hopefully we'll mitigate a lot of the problems there. But this is uh, something that we've been looking at for quite some time. Could have been a lot worse if temperatures were higher. Then when you look at the overall water supply situation, these are all the reservoirs. They're doing really quite, quite well, and they anticipate to fill everything, which is great. Uh, Bear Lake looks to uh, have a good shot at filling, and so northern Utah is looking very good. Southern Utah, not as well as northern Utah. They didn't get the storms. Um, Lake Powell is expected to fill roughly about 38 feet in elevation, which is great. but. Um, something I thought we should talk about here. We've had six fatalities so far this runoff season, three of which were little children. And I can't stress enough how dangerous the waterways are right now, fed by mid and high elevation watersheds. Um, they're incredibly cold. Hypothermia sets in with about a minute and a half to two minutes. It's going about seven to ten miles an hour in some of the steeper elevations you can't get out of these watersheds. So please use good judgment. Don't recreate near these things. Stay away. Watch your children. Watch your pets. Leash them up because it's really uh, enticing to go near the rivers at this time of year. They're really pretty, but it's the most dangerous place in Utah right now. Like I said, we had six fatalities. Let's not have any more if we could. So there's my contact info. 
I'll send another one of these out as conditions evolve, and we'll go from there. And I do appreciate taking the time to listen to this. Thank you.